Now y'all tell me, do you think this is full coverage or do you think this is medium coverage? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing another wear test and this is the makeup that we are testing out today. Spoiler alert, I've already had this on for five hours and this is what it looks like. So if that is indi any indication of what I think, here you go. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload, do a lot of makeup, hauls, tutorials, reviews. And yeah, this face is sitting pretty nice right now. But if you want to know what foundation it is, if I haven't told you in the thumbnail already, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so the foundation that we're going to talk about today is the Zara Foundation. This is their Limitless Soft Matte Foundation. You can only get this online right now, and hopefully they will have it in the store soon because shopping online for foundation matches is really hard. I cannot remember whose review that I watched that I thought this would be a good match for me, but spoiler alert, it is not. So we're going to make it work because I want to do a wear test and show you guys what it looks like and also for me to decide if I want to go through the hassle of returning it and getting another shade. So I picked up the shade N946. Packaging is really cute. You can see the embossing kind of there on the front. I feel like my lights are probably washing it out a little bit. This is what the bottle looks like. And as you can see, even through here, it's not so much the, sh the darkness or lightness of it, but it's the undertone. It's not the shade, it's the undertone because this is supposed to be neutral, but I have swatched it. I swatched it in my haul video and it is coming off super like olive more than neutral cool thing about this though is if you sit this down on a box it is literally tilted so this is how it will sit on your vanity or in your collection if you don't lay it down the retail price for this is $19.90 that's what it says here on the box it says that it is a light foundation long lasting and supple with a soft matte finish formula lasts 12 hours and helps control shine for a faultless look 51 shades, so give them kudos for that. It does tell you you can find your tone online, but clearly that did not work for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. I am using my La Mer, the Perfecting Primer. I've been using this a lot lately. I found it in my, <laughs> I found it in my collection and I was like, girl, why are you not using that? I did pick it up from the cosmetics company store, so we ain't paid full price for no La Mer primer, but we have a Lumiere primer, so we need to use it. I do like it though, it's really lightweight. Not only are we going to be trying out the foundation today, we are also going to try out the concealer. This is same packaging, same tilt as the foundation. I got this in the shade C935. This is their Luminous Creamy Concealer. So I'm gonna use this concealer. And then I also, this is the only other product I bought from Zara. This is their Manifesto Color Stick, and this is in the shade Real. I picked this one up because on the website, it looks like a kind of dark terracotta, like a bronzer, blush and a bronzer together. But it is more of like a, you still can wear it like that because it is the red undertone, but as dark as it is, it almost kind of shows up as a bronzer slash contour for me. But I'm gonna wear this today too, so. We're going to go ahead and start with the foundation. This is not a first impressions for me. I have worn this before, um, actually earlier this week. And like I said, I don't love the undertone of it, but I also didn't really do anything in it. And I wanted to show you guys the wear test. So I'm starting off with two pumps and start to stipple. But as you can see, it's not that normal kind of yellow neutral undertone this does not look neutral to me at all and when it dries down it does look a little darker and a little more olive so 
I'll definitely have to do a little bit of tweaking with it. When I wore it before, I put a powder over it that was a little more, <clears throat> excuse me, cool toned, um, just to help kind of balance it out. But I mean, you can see like the finish of this is so pretty already. And I do feel like it's kind of helping to smooth everything out and just even my skin tone. And I do think the coverage is really good with two pumps. So if you don't need as much coverage, of course, you can go with one pump first. But like I said, I've already worn this and I know I need to. So this is the two pumps. And you can see, I mean, look how lighter my ears look, which probably happens a lot. But I don't normally wear a ponytail, so I don't really worry about it. But I mean, yeah, I like how this looks. And that's why I said that I'm thinking about trying to go through the hassle of returning it. I just don't want to have to go through that hassle like three or four times before I finally get the right one. So in terms of like the color family that I'm in, I do think I'm in the ballpark, but just you can see this is definitely not the right undertone, but the finish is absolutely gorgeous. Now y'all tell me, do you think this is full coverage or do you think this is medium coverage? Because this to me, I feel like is like, everyday wearable looks like skin more medium coverage than I think it looks like full. That's just me based on what I think full coverage looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the concealer now and just conceal the areas that I normally conceal. I do like the shade of this. It says it's a cool tone and definitely have to set this. I don't remember if I wore these together when I first wore it but it does say that it is a luminous creamy concealer which means it is going to set into my fine lines under my eyes and we do not want that i'm just going to let this sit like i normally do let it dry down a little bit and then start with my brush blending out the edges and then move on to the other areas but this is not the typical like super bright color that i normally do when i'm doing full coverage so i am happy considering what we're working with, I think these two go together really well. So I'm just gonna take my brush as usual. It's only been about maybe a minute, maybe two, I doubt it. But you can see definitely brightening, blending out really well. I really like this undertone on this shade. And it definitely has good coverage. Like it's covered my hyperpigmentation, the discoloration on my eyelids, but it's not too white or crazy looking and then i always just take my sponge and go over everything to press it in but you can see some luminosity there but it still has coverage you can always appreciate when you don't lose that but it also doesn't look cakey or dry or any of that i don't feel like i need to add anything else to blend this out more or add more coverage could I probably, and if I was going for like super full coverage, I might add a little more since it's not that brightening, like not for what I normally wear, but for what we're doing today, I think this is really, really good. My favorite powder to use when I'm doing wear test is my RCMA No Color Powder. I feel like this is like no fail, one of the best powders, no flashback no issues ever so i feel like it's a really good wear test product because i know what i'm dealing with and see we are creasing a little bit already um i know what i'm dealing with and it's not going to change the shade or anything like that too much i don't feel like i need to set the foundation itself however because of the undertone i I'm not going to set it. I don't want to because I want to see how it wears by itself. And I don't normally wear powder. So I might just put a light dusting of the RCMA just to set everything. But again, we just want to see how it wears by itself and holds up today. I will be working out. So she is really going to be tested. But this is where we're starting. Like I said, I think everything looks really good. It looks really smooth. 
This does not look like super cakey dry matte, which I can appreciate because I do find that that's not really the formula that I go for anymore. I just really want to make sure this is set especially when I'm doing an all day wear test because if I just do a little bit of powder and then I'm working out or moving around a lot, I will notice creasing by the end of the day. But I don't feel like anything is settling yet and sometimes I will find that that's happening already during the application process. So we are starting a little bit ahead of the curve. I didn't even get to <laughs> so worried about the foundation. I didn't even tell you guys about the concealer. So the concealer is $12.90. And it says it's a creamy, dewy formula that is easy to blend. And it provides supple medium coverage with aluminum satin finish. And it's available in 36 shades. So I guess I should have told y'all that when I was demoing it. But you've seen it. You see how it blends out. So I agree with those claims. The next product is this color stick. And as soon as I find her... This is their Manifesto Color Stick, and it says it is a makeup stick with a creamy texture available in three finishes, matte, pearl, and glitter. It is made with hyaluronic acid, and it has an immediate hydrating effect. It is a creamy formula that can be applied to cheeks, lips, eyes, and body. I've really been into these multitasking products lately. I'll just go ahead and swatch this for you guys real quick so you can see, like, that definitely looks more like a bronzer contour shade than it does an actual like blush but I personally love shades like this and I think it'll be really pretty like if I wanted to put that matter of fact let me see if I can get a little bit off the back of my hand or off the brush and just put that as my how I normally do bronzer in the crease we're just going to put a little bit of this because it says you can use it for both I mean, it's not going to be as precise, say, if I were using like a powder product, but I definitely like the shade of this and think that it adds a little bit of dimension and just helps everything not look so flat. So definitely a win for me. Great color payoff. I really like the undertone of this. I personally don't think I could have picked a better shade for what I would use this for because all the other shades were more like red pink more specific blush looking shades and i don't think i would have wore those on my eyes and i probably would not have worn them on my lips i did put this on my lips the other day and i think it looked good so i'm gonna do that again today so but for the face i'm just gonna go ahead and draw it in definitely feels really creamy And just put this in all the areas where I would normally bronze and then I'm gonna use my Sephora this says it's for powder but this is a really stiff brush and I don't feel like I like it for powder as much as I do my cream products for bronzing so I mean you can see there that is a gorgeous gorgeous finish and I love the shade and I'm just blending this up to where kind of like a blush bronzer situation so you can see that there it's not too too pigmented it's not like scary and it just blends so easy if i had to rank the products that i bought honestly this would probably be number one with the foundation and the concealer being a close second and third but does add a little bit it is like it's going to dry down some but I do still feel like it's a gorgeous, I don't know the fin. Yeah, I'd say this is more of a satin finish. I'm going to add just a little bit more here and here to create a little more dimension. My nose does not need it. And I always just pinch my brush even more if I want to make sure the color stays exactly where I put it. So we just want to give that a little more sculpt. Take a little bit of my RCMA powder and put that underneath. As you can see there, give you a little chisel. And then I am just putting this on my cheeks in the same area I would put my blush. So great two-in-one product. But at this point, I feel like I'm ready to walk out the door. I'm going to do my brows. 
apply this to my lips when I come back and then we'll start the wear test. All right, so I went ahead and put on a little mascara. Of course, I used my Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara. And we're gonna go ahead and get into this lip real quick. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like without any kind of lip liner or anything like that first. So natural color here. Is a little bit difficult to really apply this like precisely because of how big it is but we're more worried about the color so that is what it looks like I love this shade I do think it's more appropriate for say fall or winter but it is super creamy and it does feel hydrating like it doesn't feel like it's gonna dry down I if I can find a lip liner am going to put a lip liner on around the edges I don't feel like I really need it it's just more habit because I like the outline of my lips to be pronounced so I love the formula of this I love how it feels on my face would I use it on my eyes probably not just because I don't use a lot of cream products on my eyes but for everything else I think it's gorgeous so right now it is 11.04, you can see the time there. I did start this about an hour ago. I am gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray because this is what I use when I want my makeup to last all day. So I wanna give this a fair chance like I do everything else. So this is our starting point. I Like I said, I'm gonna work out tonight so we'll see how it works through that. But I will do another check-in before my workout and then one after. It's weird now because I feel like looking at it like the shade does not look bad. It does not look as off as I thought it would or as I thought it did when I wore this the first time. So maybe I'm not returning this. <laughs> we'll see what it looks like in natural light, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face and I will check in with you guys later. Okay, so I'm doing my first check-in. So it is currently four o'clock. Come on phone, here we go, four o'clock. So I have had this on for about five hours already. And yeah, now granted I've been sitting in the house. I have not done anything at all. I'm actually getting ready to leave to go work out. So we will see what happens after that. But honestly, I love how smooth my forehead looks. Of course you can still see my lines a little bit, but I've seen crazier <laughs> a lot faster than five hours. So. I'm really happy with how this looks so far. I love that you can still see my blush. You can still see my highlighter. Everything looks good, like really, really good. So five hours in, I am impressed. I'll check back in with you guys tonight. Ooh wee, I look greasy. <laughs> okay, first of all, if y'all see my lace, listen. <laughs> I'm tired, I wanted to take this off and I was like, nope, you gotta finish. Look at the time. We've had this on for almost 12 hours. I was out in the garage. It was hot today. So this is what my face looks like. I did do a little bit of touching up with my, can't even find it, here we go. My Jaclyn Hill translucent powder. So this is just a white powder. Um, I touched up because I was filming this wig. Absolutely gorgeous by the way, love it. But yeah, just a translucent powder that I used. And this is what it looks like. I will say, I like the foundation. I don't love this shade on me. I feel like it is too olive. And it looks okay in some pictures. And then in other pictures, it looks like craps. I mean, you can see I look oily. I'm a little shiny. But like even still, my forehead is not too wrinkled up I don't know I don't feel like I love I don't know I don't feel like I love the foundation I don't hate it but I don't love it either and the fact that the shade doesn't really match for me makes me feel like you got way too many foundations anyway so why are you gonna keep it I do like the concealer though I think that's a good match I'm gonna keep it and then I just reapplied the lip because that was gone but I like that too. Let me know what y'all think. Have y'all tried this foundation? Do you like it? 
I could probably try it with some different products and it would maybe be okay. But like I said, too hard to get my shade. I don't feel like fighting it. So this is where we end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a long wear test. So if you wear your makeup for a long time, I mean, to say I was outside sweating, I think it held up well. Just hopefully you can do a better job finding your shade than I did. Comment below. Let me know what you think. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.